Here we have a 1973 Suitcase 88 Rhodes. Uh, this Rhodes has the post Marcel. This is actually from an earlier model. You can see the curved Marcel on that key pedestal. Uh, these are straight and we're putting our Miracle Mod in it. Um, before we took the action apart we placed our Miracle Mod bump right where we wanted to in relation to the hammer. Uh, basically, as we explained before, what we're looking for is that the hammer cam would rest onto that bump, and we could probably remove this key to maybe get a little better view in there. Okay, so at rest, we'd be resting on the bump, but as it's played, we just want that bump to be resting up ever so slightly against the curve of the hammer cam, which is going to help provide a break, so this can uh, help reduce double striking. Okay, but we don't want it to sit, say, like this, where it's still on the bump. Anyways, we've determined our perfect location for the bump here and here, at two points in the piano bed. Then we took the action apart, and the reason we're going to do this is we can take a straight edge now and rest it on top of every key at once and mark the perfect location. Uh, the reason for this is that as you can see on these key beds, uh, they're not perfect, so you'll have keys that are kind of misaligned, like uh, this key, for instance, right here is ahead of this one, uh, and so on. It's going to be like this all throughout the board. Over here is a very exaggerated um, instance. Okay, so basically what does that mean? If you take the keys out and measure onto the pedestal, it is kind of an inaccurate measurement in relation to where the hammer cam is going to sit. So what we're going to do now is remove our test subjects. And we will carefully place our straight edge right along the top. We marked the adjacent keys with a pencil line. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to line it up to the pencil, just like that. And just to be safe, we're actually going to cut away and clamp this down to make sure it doesn't move. We've got our straight edge in place, and again, this is a great demonstration of how the key pedestals front to back, there is going to be some kind of a tolerance in there. So, uh, we know that the hammer cams are going to be relatively straight compared to these keys which have forward and back adjustments so again this is going to just be the most consistent way of uh, marking where we want to place the bumps in relation to the hammer cams. So we're clamped down here and we're just going to carefully take a very sharp pencil and mark each pedestal. All right, we have a nice straight pencil line in there. We're going to get this clamp out of the way. And away goes the level. And now we're going to get to mounting our pedestal bumps. Okay, we're now going to put our uh, pedestal bumps onto the pedestals. We're going to use a super glue to glue them on there. We have our pencil line marking where we're going. And we have a nice long straight edge weighing all the keys down to just make it easier to put these bumps on without keys bouncing up and down. And we're just trying to match up the line as closely as possible, uh, perpendicular to the key pedestal itself.
All right, once you have all of your pedestal bumps on, now it's time to put the felt on. So we're going to peel the backing off. It's a self-adhesive felt. And what I like to do is line up with the back edge. Make sure you have that all covered. And we're just going to press it on, press it into the groove, wrap the bump, and again press it to the... Uh, mating surface between the bump and the pedestal and anchor it down and it should look something like that